I set up there for 86 days. And I had time with God. I bought that baby was laid there in Jesus three times since I was away from two of them. And I'd sit there and I'd pray for 12 and 14 hours at a time. And he'd just come down that room and heal him. And then I'd watch. And I'd watch. And I'd watch. And it seemed like it wasn't nothing but moving. And then there was one day I came out of that bathroom and he spoke to me and he said, fasting. I, you know, and I thought, Prayer and fasting. I led in the praying and fasting, and I seen God move finally. I started seeing tubes coming off, and them Thank talking you, about waking him up and pulling medication, and and then I got to watch him walk. Yeah. And I know he was adopted, and I didn't get to see his first steps, but those steps were so precious to me. And I gotta give God praise for that. Yeah, and I got to be part of that. I got to see that. And he's my baby. Amen. Whether or not I had him or what Bless God you. wanted. Bless I got to witness that. And Amen. I thank God. I thank God for where he brought me from. I thank God for what he did to me in, in my life. Thank you, Jesus. The prayer that I got to pray and all the fasting and I miss home and I miss church, but I thank God for his Holy Ghost because I know I wouldn't have been able to make it because I've been out of church. I went to church one night, one night in 86 days, and my heart longed to be here. I don't know why people don't go to church when they can because it's hard, especially if you don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. I'm glad to be back here. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.